Exactly. What advice would you give facilitators, you know, leaders who are facilitating meetings, facilitators who are certified in, you know, a Franklin Covey content or some content they've developed on their own, and they're in the work session, the seminar, the workshop, and they're at the chart pad or the whiteboard. What are some tips you might give on uh, how big your letters should be and what color pens <laughs> to use for different concepts? You must have kind of a quick litany of things, do's and don'ts around that. Yeah, well, the most important thing is to, I think of uh, the meeting over a period of a couple of hours or even a half day or a day, uh, you want to be able to look around the room and, and easily see what you were working on at different segments. So titling is really critical and you have to make the letters pretty big, like, you know, four or five inches tall. Um, the next thing is, um, I think I got this from journalism, is you really want to have a series of headlines and features so that when people look, they can remember a whole chunk. So chunking up the information and titling it, subtitling it with headlines that actually capture some of the content. Um, these are all things that then allow you to hang a lot of detail if you get those two things right on it. Uh, Another tip I would say is you've got to think about the visual environment almost like uh, theater staging. You're, you're staging understanding and where you put the charts on the wall and making it so people can kind of sweep through a panorama. It gets you into the kind of thing Gisela was talking about, which is uh, people going back, digging deeper, starting to see connections, seeing how seemingly opposite things actually work together. Um, and all of this um, is very doable right away when you start working this way, but with practice, you get more and more skillful. And a lot of the objective is to kind of uh, make it possible for the energy of the group to focus on what they need to work on. Uh, so the more easy you can look at the charts, the more you figured out, is there enough room for breakouts, all those kinds of details. Um, you're building containers for thinking and conceptual containers for breakthrough thinking and meaning. Most of the people doing design thinking and innovation work now uh, all work visually this way. Right. Gazelle.